Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. Did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claire Monster? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. That's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> now how are you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less, smile more. Ha. Do whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. Now Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I've gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room Diametrically opposed foes They emerge with a compromise Having open doors that were previously closed The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power A system he can shape however he wants The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital And here's the piece de resistance No one else was in the room where it happened The room where it happened The room where it happened No one else was in the room where it happened The room where it happened The room where it happened No one really knows how the game is played The art of the trade, how the sausage gets made We just assume that it happens But no one else was in the room where it happens Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in distress and disarray. Tell me, Alexander said, I've nowhere else to turn, and basically begged me to join the fray. Tell me, I approached Madison and said, I know you hate him, but let's hear what he has to say. Tell me, Well, I arranged the meeting, I arranged the menu, the venue, the seating. But no one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened, the room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened, the room where it happened. In the room where it happened No one really knows how the parties get to yes The pieces that are sacrificed in every game of chess We just assume that it happens But no one else was in the room where it happens Madison is grappling with the fact that not every issue can be settled by committee Meanwhile. Congress is fighting over where to put the capital it isn't pretty. Then Jefferson emerges with the dinner and invite, and Madison responds with Virginian insight. Maybe we can solve one problem with another and win a victory for the Southerners. In other words, <laughs> a quid pro quo. I suppose. Wouldn't you like to work a little closer to home? Actually, I would. Well, I propose the Potomac. And you'll provide him his vote? Well, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. No. What else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? No one else was in the room where it happened? The room where it happened? The room where it happened? My God. In God we trust. But we'll never really know what got discussed. Click boom and it happened. And no one else was in the room where it happened. Alexander Hamilton! What did they say to you to get you to sell New York City down the river? Alexander Hamilton! Did Washington know about the dinner? Was the president a pressure to deliver? Alexander Hamilton! Or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. Capitol? Cause we'll have the banks, we're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got when you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you get love for it, you get hate for it, you get nothing if you just wait for it, wait for it. God help and forgive me, I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? If you stand for nothing, girl, what do you fall for? Trade away. We dream of a brand new star.